Do you still get the same thrill out of making music that you did, say, 20 You're supposed to introduce yourself. Oh, I'm so Hi, my name is Stephen Hill, and this is... Prince. Prince has created a peerless body of work. The release of a Prince album always signaled a redefinition of limits. There were the giant hits. There were the incredible record sales, Grammys, and the Oscar. Musicology is Prince's new CD. On it, the man that gave drum machine soul and made layers of synthesizers funky proves that real musicians can bring it to record like they bring it to the stage. Tonight, on BET, it's Music and Words by Prince. You consider yourself a student or a teacher of musicology? That's a very good question. Um, I like to think I'm both. I, I learned a lot from the ones that came before, and I think it, uh, it's my responsibility to try to pass what I've learned on. Who, who have you learned from? Who would you say you've learned from? Oh, all the greats, uh, James, and Sly, Earth, Wind and Fire, Jimmy, and Carlos Santana, all of them. With all your work and all you have to teach, who are some of the people you're teaching now? Well, I've had several musicians come up to me and tell me that they have learned a lot from me and uh, gained some greater insight into themselves and songwriting from my work. Uh, D'Angelo, Alicia Keys, uh, you know, has some good discussions with Andre 3000 and uh, folks like that. Who are the folks you like to listen to other than them right now? Mm. Well, I, I play a lot and I make music so much that I don't get a chance to hear a lot of stuff. Uh, it's really hard to listen to music because, you know, the only way you can get it usually, the new stuff is through videos and what have you. And, it's just really hard to watch television these days. Why do you find it hard to watch television? They're not leaving a lot to the imagination. Yeah. I don't find a lot of wit in it. I just see a lot of shock. And it's really hard to shock me, so. <laughs>
you're on tour. Yes, sir. Uh, going out, not only are you selling out arenas and cities, but you're adding more dates as they sell out. They sell out as well. The question is, is there really joy in repetition? Do you enjoy playing the hits now um, the same way you did then? Oh, yes, very much so. I mean, uh, the, the songs I love, I, uh, I grew up with them, just like the people that are listening to them. Uh, they're real dear to me. And I love it. Any particular favorites you enjoy playing more than others while you're on this tour? I'm really getting a kick out of doing the acoustic section of the show where I just play the guitar and sing a lot of old favorites because um, I can change up every night. So it's just really fun and challenging to pull out a new one nightly. And it keeps it real interesting. But all of them, uh, there's none that I get more kick out of playing than the other. You know? How much time is there between you when you decide what you're going to play in that acoustic set and when you play it? Milliseconds. <laughs> Help me out. This is it. Time for you to go to the wild yard. You will hit ya. Cause you got the burning desire. It's your time. You will hit Cause you got the burn Cause I, yeah It's your time Got the horns and why don't you blow it It's your time You feel It's your time you feel the cute and baby, you know it. Oh, cream, get on top, cream. You will cut, cream. Don't you stop, cream. Trouble get back. You're so good, baby. Think nobody better. So you should have. You know I wrote this in, while I was looking in the mirror, right? I'm serious. You're so good. Baby, thing nobody better. So you should hey, never ever go by the letter. It's so cool uh, Everything you do is success Break the rules uh, Break them all Cause you are the best uh, yeah. Cream Get on top Cream
Remember that from high school? Check this out. This is what I remember from high school. Ladies. Want to hear the first song I learned? Yeah. On the guitar. You have to good job in the sea. For real, that's it, that's it, that's all I learned. So once you could do that, you can impress folks. I went from that to this. Out of musically and then non-musically, if you don't mind. I, I, I feel blessed more than proud. I, you know, music's a gift from God, and used properly, it can do many great things. So uh, I don't, I don't call it pride so much. Uh, and I don't know that there is anything non-musically. I am music, so. Can we hear Erotic City one more time? Can we, can we hear Head one more time? Dirty Mind one more time? You mean me perform it one more time? Can you perform them please one more time? Why do you want me to perform them? Because they are songs that, as you talked about before, I grew up with. But I think people would much, be much more interested in finding out if you'll ever play them and if you won't, or if you will, why or why not? Well, I, I pose the question to you. What should we do with the 13-year-olds that are in the audience when I go into those particular numbers? Go. The same thing you did with them when you were playing them on the Love Sexy Tour. Go. Well, I didn't play them like that on the Love Sexy Tour. And there weren't a lot of 13-year-olds out there then. 
Right. It's a different day and age now. You got kids that, uh, you know, because of the advent of MTV, it's a, it's a whole different vibe day. And also, you know, I was younger at that point. You know, I'm, I'd like to think I'm a little bit more responsible. How about you? I still like to hear Erotic City, but that's me. I'm, I'm old and responsible. You got the record pot. I'm old. <laughs> If there's ever a black person in your audience anywhere, we're BET, so I gotta ask this. Can you promise to always play a door? <laughs> black person's national anthem. You just uh, ask anybody. Can, can you promise just all, wherever you play, put it in your set? No, I'm gonna work that one in for you. Definitely. <laughs> and I gotta ask you, did the Eddie Murphy basketball game depicted in the Chappelle show really happen? Good. In your face, Charlie Murphy. Good. Yes, sir. It's a true story. <laughs> You hanging on the river every Next on BET at 9.30, catch a bit of spring fever yeah. on how I'm living. Uh, then at 10, it's the new hot spot. The Club Comic View. 
at 11. Catch BET Night.